So in this video, I'm just gonna show off what I've added since the previous Godot video. If you're new here, this is a 3D space combat dogfighting shooter. All the code is available on GitHub, and I'll make sure to link in the video description and also pinned comment any tutorials I used on the content that I'm showing in this video. If you have questions about how I implemented any of this, I'm happy to answer those in the comments and maybe even be encouraged to make a tutorial video about how I did it. In no particular order, let's get into it. I added a button in the main menu to toggle back and forth between full screen and windowed. There's now an optional aim assist feature with your uh, selected target. You select a target, there's an audio cue that will play if you have aim assist, and bullets will head out of your gun, not necessarily straight ahead, but will head to an intercept point for your target. I followed a tutorial to make a gradually expanding, and then when you turn it off, gradually decreasing laser beam that deals damage over time. It's got some particle effects flying through the beam itself. I don't think it looks fantastic the way I did it. It looked a lot better on the smaller scale of the tutorial that I followed, but I still think it's pretty cool. I'm going to keep it in the game for now, maybe see if I can attach it to a uh, a beam destroyer or something later on. The bullets being showcased here are a new addition. They are proximity fuse bullets. So there is an area 3D around the bullet, larger than the bullet itself. And if that area 3D collides with anything, uh, it will trigger the end of the bullet and an explosion at that location. And the explosion is even larger than the uh, proximity area 3D and it deals damage throughout that area. I also added timed fuse bullets. So after a certain amount of time, the bullet will explode and that explosion deals damage in an area. Here we see a turret shooting at me and the turret actually calculates how far away I am and sets the timer on the bullet to be so that the bullet explodes at the right distance to hit me with a little bit of randomness thrown in. I found a video of a fighter jet taking off from an aircraft carrier and I literally downloaded the video and took the audio out of it for the engine sounds. I then messed with the pitch and volume uh, so that when you're accelerating there's a different sound, uh, your default thrust has a sound and then it disappears entirely when you uh, go to your drifting ballistic mode. There's also a sound for the braking effect where like I'm, I'm stopping and coming to a halt. I kind of don't want to actually have that in any sort of final version of this game. I like it where you like have to move forward in your ship. I think that's kind of critical to a space flight game, but uh, that's what I've got for right now. And I think the addition of these sounds, uh, it's so valuable. I added a target lead indicator so that you can see where you need to shoot for your shot to hit a target when that target is moving, assuming that target stays moving along its course. Currently, the target lead indicators stay relatively close to the ships because it's calculated based on both the ship speed and the bullet speed, and the bullets are all relatively fast compared to the ships. I made it super easy to add in different targeting reticles for the different guns. You can literally just drag a texture uh, rectangle with the reticle that you want as a child of any gun, and it will just use that reticle uh, for that gun when you switch to it. There's a variety of sound effects that I've added. Um, I forget even which ones I had in previous versions of the game, but like when your shield goes down, there's a sound effect. More of the bullets actually do a sound effect when they hit things. You can hear many of them here. I finally got around to following a tutorial uh, to create this beautiful new space scene. It's got a star uh, far in the distance that's giving off light, at least relatively from that direction. I've got some asteroid assets that I downloaded. I'll link to all this stuff in the video description and pinned comment. There's a space station in the middle of this area, which is collidable, and it's just a really pretty looking scene. I look forward to adding some enemies to this scene and actually showing some combat in it. Not really shown in this video, but stuff that I did add is I added the ability for the NPCs to acquire missile lock and fire a seeking missile at any of their enemies, including the player. A really big improvement that I made is I modularized how I 
make the player control the ships so that I can actually attach a player controller. The only difference between any different ship in the game now is that I attach a player controller as opposed to an NPC controller. And like the weapons and the missile systems, everything just works, uh, which is so amazing. That was a huge breakthrough for me and I feel like I learned a lot about how to organize a Godot project. I hope I'm doing it the right way. There aren't really any other ships. There's like two different types of ships in the game. So it, I have it working with the player flying either one, but like there's no like real visual difference. I guess one of them has a cockpit and the other one doesn't, um, but it's not really anything interesting different about them quite yet. I tried to procedurally generate my own asteroids and I like followed a shader tutorial on that and I couldn't get it to work uh, the asteroids like looked fine in some versions, but the collision box and the size of the asteroid was all off, such that um, the asteroid would disappear out of the frame if it was slightly off center, because like the size of the image of the asteroid was disconnected from the radius of the asteroid itself, and I couldn't figure out how to disentangle that. It was actually more of like a camera issue than anything else. Um, and then I tried to like throw together some of my own asteroids with just some spheres with some random brown noise on them and I think they look like a bunch of butt cheeks uh, slapped together and they're awful but I thought I'd share that as just like a funny thing that I'm definitely going to get rid of and not use. I kind of like the crystals that I made um, but uh, maybe I can incorporate those in some other way later on. Well that's all for this video. Thank you for uh, coming along on this journey with me. Bye folks.